I'm a computer scientist. Uh, I, I work in Santander in the Physics Institute of Cantabria. Uh, I've been there for, for uh, I think, five years. Uh, I come from Spain, from the north of Spain. Uh, I work in the Physics Institute of Cantabria and uh, the Department of Computation that uh, works in many different things uh, like cloud computing. Uh, I come here to, to discover new tools that can contribute to to make uh, our research in better and uh, the scientific use case that uh, I am using for, for this uh, Hackfest is uh, an algae bloom. Uh, it's a long-term collaboration with a small enterprise uh, there in Spain and uh, what we want to do is uh, to forecast the, the water quality of a reservoir in Spain and uh, in particular to detect uh, algae bloom that can be uh, very bad for the water quality, uh, in, in particular for reservoirs that uh, are supplying water to, to different cities. I think there are uh, a lot of uh, available tool, tools that can be uh, very useful for different uh, scientific case studies and uh, I think that we can uh, integrate some of them to, to make our research in, uh, much better. Uh, during this, this Hackfest, uh, I discovered uh, some new tools and, and I uh, reviewed some that tools that uh, I've already known. For instance, uh, OneData, I think it's a very good tool uh, that can uh, contribute to, well, it, it is a, a, a distributed storage system and can be very, very useful to link uh, the computing part of uh, uh, our researching and, and to the, the accessing of the, the output and the, uh, and the input of, of, the, of the case studies. Uh, Ophidia, for instance, I think uh, is a, a very good tool to, for uh, big data analysis and uh, in, par in my particular case, uh, I think it could be contribute to, to analyze the different parameters, the different values, and so on. And, uh, well, Kepler is a tool for uh, workflows, and I think it can contribute to, to, to automatize the, the, the different steps that I have to do manually in, in my researching.